What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So again, uh, I'm not posting here on YouTube anymore, but I am coming back to allow you guys to know when I have new content. Although, of course, you can just learn whenever I have new content if you just go to the URL link in the YouTube video below. It's uh, the DAO of SK Wealth Academy Podcast dot Blueberry B L U B R R Y dot net, but you can find it in the link below. And then you can subscribe through multiple means. You can subscribe on iTunes. If you go to iTunes, please do give me a five star rating for this podcast. If you listen to it, of course, and, and you enjoyed it, because that really will help me gain a wider audience, an audience I've lost here on YouTube. If you want to support me and become a patron, just go to www.patreon.com forward slash SK Wealth Academy. You can find other non-public content, but let me talk about the public content. So I have four new podcasts, episode number 20 to 23. I think there's going to be a little bit of something for everyone there. Episode number 20, I discuss what the happiest societies in the world would find abnormal about life today. And having this discussion with one of my friends, she said, oh, it's just unreasonable to think that we can have that. And that is not true because some of the things, just like a strong sense of community, even if we live in a city of 20 million people, we can still form that. It just requires a little bit of work. So I discuss that in full length and I discuss how to uh, retain those aspects of happiness in daily life that ancient societies have taught us work. So we have the blueprint, we just don't use it. Episode number uh, Deuce 1, 21, I talk about how to find purpose in life. Um, Jordan Peterson, who's a famous blogger, famous philosopher out there, who I really think uh, imparts a lot of wisdom, has said that the meaning, the purpose of life is struggle. I highly, highly disagree with that. Uh, There's some things I disagree with Jordan Peterson about. Um, That is one issue because I believe that the purpose of life is to find meaning, is to find meaning in your life. And as you find meaning in your life, that you will go through struggle. That will be a natural progression of finding meaning in your life. But you will also experience a great deal of elation, of joy. And that's also part of the journey. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, the journey of life is not just about struggle. That should be a smaller element because hopefully you're not going to be struggling for the majority of your life. So the greater element should actually be joy over struggle, but you will have a duality in life, of course. Now, episode number deuce deuce, I talk about the importance of supporting small businesses. If we really want to make a change, those of us that say we want to change the world, society, humanity for the better, we need to start supporting small businesses over the megalithic giants, the corporate giants, the international conglomerates because because that is how we improve the mental health, our physical health, our spiritual health, to start supporting uh, the despicable me CEOs like Jeff Bezos of Amazon. We start going to the local bookstore to buy books. We start uh, buying local produce from our farmer's markets that we know are pesticide free, that we know are better for our nutrition, for our health. We go start supporting the small businesses out there that are getting crushed by the bigger conglomerates because these are people that will bring real change to society. So if we're sincere about uh, bringing real positive change to humanity, then we need to support small businesses every step of the way, every possible way we can. So that is the topic of the episode number 22 and finally the last topic episode number 23 i speak about the degradation devil devolution of society into irrational beliefs that we claim are facts irrational behavior and irrational decision making so i discuss how to identify that because we have all have suffered because of the behavioral conditioning that the majority of us have gone through compulsory schooling. Because in those classrooms, that's where we were behaviorally conditioned. They're not geared toward making us brighter. They're actually geared toward dumbing us down. Because a lot of people still vehemently argue with me that schooling is equivalent to education. It is not the equivalent of education. Because I've met even 
I've met people that have been homeless, that are self-educated by reading tons of books, that have better critical thinking skills than people I've met that graduated from Harvard University and Princeton University. So uh, there's plenty, and I give plenty more examples in podcast number 23, why uh, many people that think they're intellectual are actually irrational, how to overcome that. So hopefully... uh, you know, among those topics that will give you a wide array of things to draw upon. Please do go support me if you're so inclined to do so so kind at patreon.com forward slash SK Wealth Academy where you'll find more content than just, just this public content. And as well, um, if you subscribe to me, even if you aren't following me on iTunes, you can find a link in the uh, URL below to go to iTunes. Please do rate me five stars because if, if only, of course, if you find the content on my podcast enlightening uh, because that helps spread my message to as many people as possible which helps me produce more of this content on a more frequent basis so that would help me out tremendously as something that will only take you a minute of your time so it takes me at least several hours to produce each podcast so if you can help me out by giving me just one minute of your life back I'd be forever grateful go to iTunes rate my podcast five stars if you really enjoyed the content if you didn't then rate it whatever you believe it is equivalent to so that is all Uh, as always be mindful be present be grateful for what you have that will bring more blessings into your life and as always remain intensely curious bless up everyone